Kinda crazy. Oh, oh, something kinda crazy. Oh, oh, oh. Tell me, baby. Oh, oh. I followed my Turkish boyfriend to Istanbul, Bodrum, and his family's beach house in Silivri. We went to some of the most lavish hotels, and I thought it'd be fun to share with you what a luxurious experience we got to have. This was my first time ever visiting Turkey and it's one of the most beautiful countries I've ever been to. I'm also so excited to talk about how amazing the food is, so maybe grab a snack because you might get hungry. Putting our bags down and showing you a quick little room tour, look how beautiful this bathroom was. I took a shower to get the dirt off from the airplane and got into some robes which felt super cozy. Before getting changed into this really cute little outfit and going to lunch because I was starving. We stayed at the Four Seasons Hotel which is right on the Bosphorus and this part of the hotel is actually an old palace that was converted. The architecture is stunning and you can see it has such a beautiful view of the sea strait. For lunch I got myself this quinoa salad that had fried shrimps and then of course stole some of my boyfriend's fries. Straight after lunch we went to Topkapi Palace which is so rich in history and beautiful. If you ever visit Istanbul you would definitely have to come here. We actually hired a guide which was well worth it and learned about the history of the Ottoman Empire, stories of the Sultan, and what each room was used for. So if you ever go, definitely get a guide. Anyways, enough of my narrating. I just hope you enjoy the beautiful views because trust me, it's so much more amazing in person. After we went for an early dinner at this Iskender restaurant that specializes only in one thing. Also, yes, that is in fact hot butter that they pour straight on the meat. Day one was so fun and we called it early just so we could get sleep before going to the market tomorrow. I had myself a little cocktail and enjoyed some background music before going to bed. Yay. Today we are going to Capella Tarche. I can't say it right. Can you go You're say it? You're saying it right. Am I saying it right? Okay. Today we are going to Capella Tarche. <laughs> <laughs> Today we are going to Kapala Charche, big market in Istanbul. I am so excited. It's also such a beautiful day. And then afterwards, we're gonna go get lunch, get some Turkish meze, and go out for dinner. The buffet at this hotel was amazing. They even had a station dedicated to different types of honey and you could get honey straight off the comb. This is me just admiring the fact that there's so many different types of honey. This was one of the best hotel breakfasts I've ever had. The buffet was big enough where there was enough variety, but everything was so greatly crafted. And of course, because we're in Turkey, they had an assortment of olives. The first thing I knew I needed to try was Turkish guzleme and it was so good. One of my favorite things I've eaten while in Turkey. And of course, I had to try the whole honeycomb. And I'm shocked at how good fresh honey is. It's obviously very sweet, but has so much flavor. Also got eggs benedict and tried this Turkish bread before we went to the market. This market is famous for having basically anything you could ever want. Spices, teas, gold, silver, and even some, quote, designer handbags. <laughs> You always 
stopped inside this cafe and got myself a Turkish tea before being convinced by my boyfriend to try Turkish coffee for the first time. So they give you this, why? Just so it balances. You drink that, you finish that, and then you eat this, and at the end you drink your milk. That is so strong! <laughs> After shopping and lunch, we went out for dinner at this beautiful rooftop restaurant in Istanbul. You can see the entire city and even in the distance, you can see the Topkapi Palace. For dinner, we had some Turkish-inspired appetizers as well as not-so-Turkish-inspired appetizers and I shared this beef short rib with my boyfriend. Every night they show up with a towel and slippers on each side of the bed. It's so nice. After I went to the gym, I went and got breakfast, and of course, I had to have some more guzleme. It's so, so good. It looks so simple, but trust me, it's delicious. And then we spent the day by the pool. long to do this, but I'll just fall for your influence. Cause girl, you make my shooting stars alive. For lunch, I had a poke bowl, a virgin pina colada. Also shared this pina colada with my boyfriend. He usually doesn't like sweet things, but who doesn't love a pina colada? And then we shared some fries, and I also had a bite of a burger. After swimming in the sun, we went to the spa for a quick dip in their pool. I got to use their lockers, which is so nicely set up. And then we went on a little cruise on the Bosphorus. I also had some of my boyfriend's pide, which you could kind of say it's like a pizza, but I might be offending people by saying that. It's boat shaped, filled with cheese, it's delicious. We ended up actually making our own in Salivri, so stay tuned to the end of the video to see that as well. Our trip to Istanbul was short, but that's okay because I was so excited to go to Bodrum. The hotel was so nice, they greeted us and gave us welcome drinks, which honestly tasted like a kind of lemonade. It was delicious before we went down and had breakfast. And I cannot begin to explain how next level this breakfast buffet is. 
They even had a station dedicated to more healthier options, which I thought was interesting. And knowing me, I'm all for healthy alternatives, but let's be real, I love grabbing and eating whatever I want. Speaking of which, they had an entire station dedicated for baklava, and look how many different types. It was amazing. After breakfast, we had to wait for our room to be ready, so we came down to the beach. Look how stunning this resort is. And I spent some time doing my holistic nutritionist homework before we finally checked into our room. I'm looking, but if you want to wake up. After a really relaxing morning and some lunch, we went into the town of Bodrum and went shopping. And for dinner, we went to this really cute restaurant that a lot of people from Bodrum recommend. The restaurant specializes in meats, but they also have amazing dips and appetizers. This salad was so fresh. Truly such a amazing local dining experience. It's day three, baby, and every time I film a morning video, I swear Nico is just dead asleep in bed. It's so funny to me. We went down for another breakfast buffet, which I would always wake up feeling excited for because the food was amazing, and this time I grabbed myself some of the pastries because they all looked so good. If you've watched some of my food freedom videos on my channel, you would know I'm all about intuitive eating and it's just so important to enjoy yourself on vacation, not overthink food and really just eat what you want because life is for living and you're on vacation. So food is part of the fun.
After our big breakfast, we took a little buggy down to the more private beach club that is nestled into a little cove. It is so beautiful. It feels like this place was made to be photographed. Lunch was this beautiful Caesar salad, some fresh grilled vegetables, and look how creamy the salad was. Honestly, it makes me drool just looking at it again. It was probably the best Caesar salad I've ever had, and I'm not joking you. I just love a good creamy Caesar. And then I didn't film this part, but we got back on a plane back to Istanbul and checked into the Mandarin Oriental in Istanbul that is also right on the Bosphorus. And look at the cool little snacks. They gave macaroons and fruits and nuts so nice so big too we woke up in the morning and went for a lovely breakfast and the hotel had pretty much the same offerings in istanbul as they did in bodrum the pastries were my favorite they were all so good fresh fruit every single morning I got guzleme again, it's my favorite thing to eat for breakfast while we were here, as well as a big breakfast platter, some of this minimen, and everything was so amazing, the view, stunning. I didn't really do much this afternoon besides just hang around, so hence me filming mostly just food, but we went out to a beautiful dinner, I had myself a glass of wine, this amazing salmon dish before calling an early night because the next day we had to drive really early to Salivri. Salivri is a beach town about an hour outside of Istanbul, and this was the most local experience we got to have while in Turkey. The first thing we did is we walked to the market where they were unloading fresh fruit from the truck, as well as the bakery to get some breads for breakfast. My boyfriend's uncle was giving us a tour and pointed out that everyone plants fruit in their garden, which is just very unlike the US, and I thought it was really special. We met up with his family and family friends and had a very traditional spread of Turkish breakfast foods. This includes, of course, cheese, olives, bread, and menemen. Another food I had never tried before and is now a new favorite is açma, which is a really fluffy, almost flaky type of bread. I dipped this into a really sweet, almost nutty paste. I forgot the name of it, but it was so good. And then I tried Mastika for the first time, which is almost like a tree sap alcohol. <laughs> it was interesting. I don't know. I can try. <laughs> For dinner, we had some kind of mashed eggplant salad, bean salad, and of course, wood-fired pide. So good. Also had some lakmajan, and if I butcher any of these pronunciations, please forgive me. I'm trying my best. And of course, for dessert, had some of this homemade cheesecake that was so good. So, Nico, this one's eggplant, this one's ground beef, and this is called what again? Feta cheese, as a bit. Schmidt? How do you say it? I don't know. Feta cheese, how do you say it? Simit. Simit. Simit? Simit. Simit, that's a Oh my god, that's so awesome. <laughs> Nico's 
Nico and I went off and did our own thing, spent time together at the beach, and the water was beautiful, super warm, crystal clear, and just so fun to splash around in. This was such an amazing trip with amazing food, amazing people, and I was really, really sad to leave. Looking back at this video and editing this made me very happy, but also really sad at the same time because I don't know the next time I'll be in Turkey, but I hope it will be soon.